I'm starting an Art of Illusion file. So I double click on Art of Illusion and it's coming up now. So it's untitled. So File, Open Recent, W Dish, and I'll just tilt it. So um, uh, Art of Illusion runs with uh, a front view, a top view, and a left view, which is basically elevation plan and end view for technical drawing. And it's also uh, similar to um, some of the mathematical um, stuff that people do with coordinates. And we have a uh, perspective view here on the fourth panel. And um, I'll just show you some basic um, art of illusion stuff. So the um, red ball uh, donates my solar cooker and you simply make that with one of these solid uh, gizmos here. Now it says down here draw a drag to create an ellipsoid shift, shift drag to create a sphere. So you just shift drag and you'd have a sphere here. Anyway I'm just going to clear this thing and um, what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to make a um, funnel cooker and uh, model it in Art of Illusion. So the straight line is just a guideline for me and what you do is you do a curve. So click on doing the curve and I'm just going to um, and click again and enter and there we go we have a straight line now to do um, a cone for the funnel cooker you go tools um, lathe and lathe gives you a couple of uh, options so there's line through ends points we don't want that z axis we don't want that y axis we want the y axis and for my um, left leaning line what you do is you go halfway back and this isn't intuitive but if I go to radius of minus 5 uh, I've got um, a cone but it's not quite right so it's got a hole in it now what you can do is you can um, click and move and you can check out your cone and you can see it's got a hole in the bottom you can also zoom with the mouse button and the, the middle button you can zoom on this thing too you can zoom on these windows as well with the mouse button anyway um, so minus 5 is not right so we're going to try something different minus 4.5 oh minus 4.0 is going to work and we can just check that out that's pretty good it's got a little tiny hole okay so there's a funnel cooker so we click OK and it will materialize and there it is and um, these two little windows down here on the left are for moving what you see um, if you click on null here null is right in the middle and it means that when you move things around in perspective to move around null and that's pretty important because they could move around any point on the, um, on the picture so um, anyway what we're going to do now we're just moving perspective here we're not actually um, mov moving any of the things so what we're trying to what we're going to do is we're going to zoom these a little bit to see what we're doing and we're just going to move the funnel cooker um, oh sorry, I have to move the funnel cooker which is laded object 1. So we would just rename that funnel cooker and um, I'm just going to move it in under um, I'm just going to move it, there we go. So now we've got the funnel cooker uh, under the cooking pot and um, 
funnel color. Everything starts off at default texture, but we don't want default texture, we want mirror. So now the funnel cooker is a mirror finish and um, we have um, we have it uh, pointing up. I in this scene file the sun is already arranged to pass over 60 degrees so the sun will be passing over this funnel or no why is it it's arranged to pass over 90 degrees so we're just going to set that up and see um, how much uh, how effective this funnel cooker is uh, so we go scene render scene uh, we don't use camera one we use new camera six we make a movie um, each second on this corresponds to uh, 10 degrees so start end time nine so you go 90 degrees we're only going to go two frames a second because we want to do this quickly and we have another program running in the background to record the screen okay so we go okay and um, here we go and save it untitled yes and we have 18 frames so here we go here's our funnel cooker going across the screen and uh, we are looking down as if we were the sun so the reflection we see is the effect of um, sunlight shining on your um, cooking pot there so as you can see um, uh, it's not too bad actually but uh, as it goes close to the end it's uh, not so good anymore close okay so I have uh, on this side here I have a whole bunch of different uh, types of cookers and uh, do, 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 do. I've got some of them tilted just to um, to see how they will perform when they're um, see Stephen's funnel tilted and a 60 degree or no sorry what am I saying um, I've got uh, tilted deep parabolics W dish tilted etc etc I'm just going to see if I can find a W dish. Here's a W dish. I'm going to uh, show selection. So it's the same, s or should be the same size almost as the. Um, it's actually slightly smaller than um, this funnel that I made uh, at random. Anyway, we are going to lay the object one, which was the funnel cooker. We're go just going to hide selection. So as quick as that it's gone and this um, W cooker is shown instead so now we're just going to um, do this. we don't need a scene render scene okay okay save and we don't need to change anything this time um, overwrite existing file so here we go and I've only got a minute and a half to go on this anyway so this is how uh, good this particular other cooker is now I have uh, parabolic troughs I've got uh, parabolic dishes I have various different um, cookers in this and this is uh, a scene file that you can uh, download into your own Art of Illusion from um, instructables.com and um, uh, play with yourself um, you know on your computer and um, you know you can improve it or change it and it's a very good way to um, um, to learn it anyway I'm going to close it off now and um, and show you a f quick few things so uh, we're just going to move things around and we're going to go right back. Oh, what have we done here? We can't see the bottom, it's got a dimple on it. And uh, we can also move things here. So I'm just going to move this here. See, so you can move this around too. But it goes to other view. And we've got to change it to top after we've moved it. Anyway, I'm out of time now, so I've got to stop this.